Hey gang, Scott here. Well, today uh, on One, they announced Photo Raw 2022. This is the new version of their flagship editor, and it's got a lot of features really packed into it. There are five features that bubble up to the top for me, and I'll talk about those. But I'll talk about the whole the whole announcement here. You know, uh, expected availability, pricing, and then all of the features. But I will spend a little more time on the five that I find uh, most intriguing. Uh, a couple things up front, really quick here. Uh, first. If you are thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit or upgrading your current version to the new version, please use my offer code. It's in the show notes. I'm going to put it on the screen here and just leave it there the whole time. SDP20, you know, Scott Davenport Photo 20. That will save you 20% off of Photo Raw 2022. And that should include the launch. So there'll be some bonuses in the launch there as well. So you can save a bit of money. And the second thing is during the course of this video, you'll see some uh, screenshots and, you know, like B-roll of the product itself, Photo Raw 2022. Anwan was kind enough to share a pre-release with me. I want to stress that it's a pre-release. And so what you see in this video, the final product might look a little bit different just depending on the, the final tweaks that they make as they're finishing up the product. So with that, let's get started. Well, let's talk pricing and availability. You know, when can we get our hands on this software and how much is it going to cost? Because we, we don't have it today. It was announced today. We're going to have it in a few weeks. End of September is when Photo Raw 2022 will be made available. That's the guidance from On One. And that's just a few weeks away. So that's pretty cool. How much is it going to cost? Well, that, that kind of depends on where you are, what your relationship is with On One. If you're a new user, you have never owned the software before, you're thinking about it, uh, or you own a perpetual license, you know, a lifetime license, or you're a subscriber to On One Photo Raw software. And so uh, let me just show you the, the, the differences here, and I think it'll be easier if we use a graphic to explain things. Well, On One gives photographers a choice between a perpetual license or a subscription model. And let's take the case first if you already own On One products. If you're a subscriber to Photo Raw, you're going to get Photo Raw 2022 for free, right? It's part of your subscription. You're already paying the subscription, and part of that is you get the latest version of Photo Raw included. So you go into your On One account under products toward the end of September, and you're gonna find Photo Raw 2022 there. Now, if you are already a user of the perpetual or lifetime license or other on one products, you can get Photo Raw 2022 at an upgrade price of $79.99. So, those are the two variants if you're already an on one user. If you're a subscriber, it's part of your subscription. You'll just get it as soon as it arrives and is available. If you are running a different version of an on one product, you can get upgrade pricing at 79 bucks. Now, what if you're a new user? You've not used on one before. You're thinking about it. Well, again, back to this graphic here. If you decide to go the route of a subscription, uh, you can get a subscription plan as low as $7.99 a month or $89 per year. It's a little discount for a yearly rate. You'll get Photo Raw 2022, and then of course you get you know a bunch of other features with it. You get to be able to you know sync your metadata across computers. You get some cloud storage. Or you might want to go the perpetual license if you prefer to go that way. You're a new user. A brand new copy of Photo Raw 2022 will be $99.99. So 10 bucks more, you own it forever. And it kind of depends on the person you are. If you're thinking about adding on one, haven't owned it before, and you're the kind of person that upgrades your software every year, well, you know, then the subscription's a little bit less expensive. So you may want to think about that. And you get some, you know, some, some perks and bonuses as part of, uh, you know, getting a cloud storage, being able to sync, you know, your presets and your textures and stuff across computers. Speaking of cross computers, any of these licenses I've talked about, you get Photo Raw 2022, you can get the Windows version, and the Mac version, you know, both are included in this whole price, and you can run it on two different computers. So you get all of those things built into your purchase of Photo Raw 2022. And lastly, for the launch, On One's offering a, a bunch of bonuses over, I think, a hundred uh, things between custom brushes, LUTs, presets, uh, textures, you know, sky backgrounds, all that stuff. So that's the, the the rundown of pricing and availability. Key thing: end of September is when the software is going to be available. And depending on where you are in your relationship with On One, it could be just included in your subscription uh, or somewhere in the neighborhood between $80 to $99.
So let's get into features. Let's talk features here. And I got five that are the most exciting <laughs> to me, but uh, I'll cover all of them here. But let me talk about these five first. So the first one that I, I find to be the most uh, exciting is using Photo Raw as a Photoshop plugin host. And so what does that mean? Well, it means smooth workflow, the easy round trip to another application to do some sort of specialized editing and then coming back into Photo Raw. Now, we are photographers, we use multiple tools. And a lot of times the tools that we use have a Photoshop plugin. Well, I don't need Photoshop, but if I have the Photoshop plugin, I can use it from within Photo Raw in Photo Raw 2022. Like, you know, for example, I use Topaz Sharpen AI for some of my photos. Well, if I'm in Photo Raw and I need to do a little sharpening, I can send the photo from Photo Raw to Topaz using Topaz's Photoshop plugin, do my edits, and come back into Photo Raw and continue my work. And it's just a seamless round trip workflow. Photo Raw handles all of the additional work of where did the file go and did it get put next to the original that I wanted. You know, some of the some of the dancing we had to do with different applications and round tripping them from on one. If it's got a Photoshop plugin, use that. You get a much cleaner workflow. So if Photo Raw is like your hub for your photography, this is a very cool feature in Photo Raw 2022. Second feature is Sky Swap AI. Yep, AI powered sky replacement. There's a new sky tab in the edit module in Photo Raw 2022. Your photo has a sky in it. You go to the sky tab, sky's found automatically. Photo Raw makes a mask automatically, drops in a new sky. Plenty of controls for lighting, position of the sky. There's even some uh, long exposure simulation so you can do a little blur and direction of that blur support for reflections in the water. But what I really like about the way it's been implemented is the mask that this sky swap AI creates is just that, it's a mask. And all of the masking tools that are available in Photo Raw already, you can use to refine the sky and just shape things if you need to. If the AI gets you like 95% of the way there, you're like, yeah, I'd like to be able to tweak this one little area. Well, you can do that easily, simply with the masking tools that you already know how to use. So that's the second one, SkySwap AI, AI powered sky replacement coming in Photo Raw 2022. Third one is No Noise AI is fully integrated into Photo Raw 2022. So in the summer, we saw No Noise AI come out from on one really, really excellent noise reduction software. Well, all of that technology is now built into the core raw processing engine. You go into your details pane and develop, you'll find a No Noise AI tab. You just work with it just like the standalone product works. And you don't have to go and create some intermediary file format. You're not having to save out a DNG and, and, and you know take up more disk space by just duplicating things just to remove noise. It's all built into the product and it just becomes part of your normal raw editing workflow. So No Noise AI, all of that smarts in Photo Raw 2022. Fourth feature that's interesting is time-lapse support. So, you know, time-lapse photography, we capture a whole bunch of stills of the same scene and things are moving. The clouds are moving or the city streets are bustling, whatever it might be for your time-lapse. You take all of those stills and push them into a video. Well, now you can do that right in browse. You take all those stills, select them all, this little time icon on the right, and you get this uh, pop-up window with a bunch of controls. You can skim through your time-lapse. It's really, really fast to see a quick preview of it. And then set all the things you want to set, you know, the, the output quality, whether you want to use a, like a, a quick version to do a test with like the embedded JPEGs or the raw files. There are options to reduce flicker. So if you're doing a time-lapse from like day to night or night to day, and there's changes in lighting, you know, this, the software We'll try to find those flickers and minimize them. A really nice interface, very straightforward to use. So if you're into time-lapse photography, Photo Raw 2022, it's got a feature that you're going to be interested in. And number five on my cool list for Photo Raw 2022 is export. So the export experience has been completely redone. So it's not squashed over on the right-hand column anymore. You hit export, you get this nice large pop-up 
all of the options are much easier to see. Presets are more obvious. There's a preset section on the left and then all the controls on the right. And so as you select the controls, you can create presets. Everything is just cleaner and visible. And there's a lot more options. You can control more about the file name that you create, the destination folder, tapping into the metadata to create whatever type of file naming you want. Uh, speaking of metadata, there's more control over what is and isn't included in your exported photo. Like you don't want to include the location or ratings. You turn those off and they will not be in your exported photo. And the nicest thing I think is that the presets you create, they're accessible from the main menu. So if you know what you want, you want to export it at such and such a size, you got a preset for that. Just, you know, file, export with preset, choose it and it runs. Also, you can select multiple presets and have Photo Raw create multiple versions of your photo in multiple sizes. Like if you need a thumbnail and a large one, or if you need like you know a proof for a client and an archival TIFF, things like that, you can choose lots of different exports and have them all run at once. So a much more flexible and I think easier to work with export experience in Photo Raw 2022. So those are my five cool things, but you know, there's more in Photo Raw 2022. There's still more stuff that is is in is in the package here. So you know, I, I went through you know, these five here: uh, Photoshop plugins, SkySwap AI, no noise integration, time lapse support, a brand new export experience, but also coming the line mask tool. Yep, that tool is back. Used to be in an older version of Photo Raw, now it's back. There's backup and restore, so you can back up your albums, your presets, your extras. If you're not working with a clouded solution, you have an option for that. There's a favorites pane in browse to just quickly access the folders that you uh, most often use or your current working set. You have customizable thumbnails. You want to change the way your thumbnails appear in browse, what is and isn't displayed. Support for gestures. You got a trackpad. You can do zooming, panning, you know, you know, scrolling through photos. Uh, there's also support for Apple Silicon, so M1. I've been running the pre release on an Apple M1 MacBook and it is very snappy. So that's all the stuff that's coming in Photo Raw 2022. Uh, recapping it, it's coming in the end of September 2021 is when the software will be available. Uh, pricing is free if you're a subscriber. If you're upgrading from something else, about $79 US. If you're getting a new license, never used Photo Raw before, a perpetual license is $99 a new subscription for a year is 89 US. So uh, that's the whole story around Photo Raw 2022. At the end of the month, there's gonna be some pretty nice goodies for us photographers to start working with and incorporating into our workflows. And you can bet I'll be doing more videos about Photo Raw 2022, the new features. So uh, stay tuned for more to come. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I will do my very best to answer. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.